Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Previously I told you that I went and bought a Mercedes E220 estate uh, with the 2.1 diesel uh, a week or so ago and I needed to send it in for his annual check and I thought I'd give you a quick update on that. So it went in for its annual check and it passed on everything. It's got 120,000 miles on it. The car is about 12 years old, 12 or 13 years old. And uh, I bought this car just to get a bit of luxury rather than having the Skoda Rapide, which was a great car. So I took it in for an MOT, the annual check. In the UK, it's called an MOT. In Qatar, it's called an Istamara an annual check to make sure that the vehicle is safe for the roads of whatever country it is and uh, took it in and it pat the the only thing that it failed on was two tires the engineer came out and he said uh, this car's wonderful he said I can't believe that she's 12 years old and being looked after so well so that made me feel a bit better I'd obviously bought a good car, yeah? Uh, and they said, that it, it, it said it's failed because it de needs new tyres. Two, two tyres. And a quick shout here for QuickFit. Joshua Price, the assistant manager at QuickFit in Newcastle under Lyme in Staffordshire. A quick shout out for Joshua. What a guy. Go to Quick Fit for your new tyres. Joshua is a lovely guy. He always pushes the boundaries of time and gets the job done. Anyway, so yesterday I had to go and get uh, the two new tyres fitted. But an hour before I was meant to go, I said to, I've called Joshua up and I said, Let's not go for two new tyres. Let's put four new tyres on the car because she's worth it. It's worth it. So we had four Pirellis on, on the car. Four Pirellis. Pirelli Zeros. And uh, the, ones, the ones that uh, Mercedes recommended from the Pirelli range. And uh, I said to her, I said, while you're there, can you do the tracking? Because when I bought this car, I realized that the tracking was way out. The wheel alignment, yes? Because as I'm going down a straight road, I'm constantly having to steer the car rather than it going down the road and flowing down the road. So he said, not a problem. Joshua always delivers. He always delivers, yeah? Give those guys a bit of respect because they're always under time pressure to get all these vehicles through for exhausts, tyres and everything. Anyway, so I takes the car in and uh, sure enough, the tyres are replaced and the wheels are aligned. And then he gives me my certificate, the annual certificate, to say that the vehicle is roadworthy. Thank goodness for that. That's great. So now I've got the certificate, which will last another year. It's always like going to the dentist when you take a car to the MOT. You never know what's going to happen. Anyway. So I got my certificates, got the receipts, put that so I can put that with the service history of the car. The four new tires and the tracking cost uh, 600 pound and I thought that was a fairly good deal because the tracking's usually about is it 60 or 70 pound and the tires you know it was a really good price well done Joshua anyway so now we have a 5,400 pound E220 with its 2.1 diesel with 120,000 miles and full Mercedes service history yeah uh, and it's had all the recalls done 
except one, but that's another subject. We'll talk about that another time. Uh, and I've spent £600 on new tyres and tracking and everything's now absolutely perfect with this vehicle. This car is absolutely wonderful. So for £6,000, we've got a wonderful car. I'm now taking this car to my son where it's having uh, a normal service and it's going to also have the fuel filter done and the cabin air filter done. So the cabin air filter and the fuel filter are not part of a normal service. So it's a bit more than the normal service. So the parts for the normal service have come up to £163. So now we've got a car that's £6,000 uh, £6, including the new tyres and tracking and an MOT, yeah? And now I'm going in for the service. The service components cost me £163 and I know I'm going to give my son something like £100. It'll take him about an hour and 20 minutes, I think. Not that I'm timing him, but it will take him about an hour and 20 minutes. So that's £6,000 plus £163 plus £100. So that's, what, £6,260. And we've got a car that's absolutely superb. So you can find these diamonds in the rough. All you've got to do is look and move quickly. Yes. Don't play around messaging, texting the owner, saying, oh, is it any good? And la, la, la. Da, 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 da. Go out, go have a look. Have a look at all the documentation. Satisfy yourself and then buy it. Don't come back three days later when someone else has bought it. Yeah. So, you know, this, you know this, the steering now is absolutely perfect. Now the tracking's done. Joshua did say that the tracking on the front of the car, the wheel alignment on the front of the car was way out. And no wonder I was having to steer it in a straight line. I was constantly steering it as it was weaving down the road. So there's a point here. When you have new tires fitted to your car, don't forget to have the wheels aligned. Have the tracking done, yeah? And then you'll not be fighting the car in a straight line. Fighting's a bit of a strong word, I appreciate that. But you understand what I mean. Don't forget to have your wheel alignment done. Not only does it make the drive more enjoyable, but it also stops the, t the tires from scrubbing away. Because when they're not aligned, the tires scrub away. They're not flowing over the road as they should. So in effect, you're wearing your tires out much, much more quickly. I hope you found this useful. Comment below, tell me what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe. There's not going to be much on this Mercedes, but I thought I'd just tell you about the experience of getting a car where you don't have to pay PCP at £600 a month and you never own a car. All you need to know is get the car that you want and go with the mechanic if you're not mechanically minded. Yeah? And then just buy it. Don't get a PCP deal for three years at £600 a month. You're wasting your money. Give me your thoughts on that. I'd love to know, have you got a PCP car? Or a lease car with a three year or four year contract? How much is it costing you? Let me know, let me know. Have a great day. This is usually a motorcycling ch channel, so ride safely and drive safely if you're in a car. I hope you found this useful. Be kind to everyone, you never know what their story is. Everybody's got a story, trust me. Everybody's got a story. I'll see you soon. And uh, don't
Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Have a great day and be kind. See you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.